Hello friends, this is Scott with Modern Living Off Grid. I'm here with my little buddy Max today, my seven year old German Shepherd. And we're here to talk to you about hitch extensions, what they are and why you would want one. My wife and I specifically purchased a travel trailer because we needed the bed of our pickup. We are constantly hauling something in our pickup bed, whether it's our side-by-side -side ATV, maybe our motorcycle, or in this case, a lawn tractor and some equipment we needed at our off-grid farm site. We're constantly hauling something. Usually, it's longer than the eight-foot bed I have on my 1999 F350, so we usually end up having the tailgate down. The problem that presents is I can't cook my hitch into the receiver on the truck simply because of the tailgate being down. So my only option was to get a hitch extension. Uh, basically what a hitch extension does is it extends your hitch out. In this case, I'm standing out approximately 18 inches, which then allows me to connect my trailer hitch and then basically hook in the trailer up. Let me go ahead and unload the uh, lawn tract here, disconnect the trailer, get the tailgate up so you guys can get a better look at what this is. I'll be back with you guys in a few minutes. Friends, and welcome back. As you can see, I've got the trailer unhooked. I've got most of the stuff unloaded out of the pickup bed. I've got the tailgate up. And you can really get a much better picture of how this whole hitch extension works. The, basically, the hitch extension has three parts. The first part of the hitch extension is the actual hitch. Now, what you'll notice different about this particular hitch, there's actually two two-inch receivers on this particular hitch. This hitch is manufactured by Torque Lift and is part of their Super Hitch line of products. The reason we needed two two-inch receivers here is because the hitch extension actually has two two-inch bars that connect into those. The reason for that is this hitch extension basically forms a truss with the two bars here, making this an extremely strong hitch. The other part of the hitch extension is the actual hitch. This is a weight distribution hitch. And if you're not familiar with weight distribution, basically what there is is there's two bars that come out and basically help take some of the weight off of the hitch, transferring them onto the front or the drive wheels of the truck. The other thing that makes this hitch extremely strong are these two chain supports on either side. Once you put the hitch extension in, you basically hook these two up. You can see where they hook on to the hitch and you tighten them down. This provides an extremely strong lateral support so you don't get any play in the hitch in this direction. This particular hitch extension is 18 inches and an 18 inch extension, it's rated for 14,000 pounds with a 1,400 pound ton extension. And the reason we needed something this strong is that our Sprinter travel trailer has a gross vehicle weight rating of slightly over 11,000 pounds with about a 1,200 pound ton weight. So we needed something extremely strong to be able to handle that weight. This particular setup we have towed into the Rocky Mountain National Park and pretty much across North America. And we have never ever had a problem with this particular setup. The only thing that you want to do is maybe after about 50 miles of driving, if you get a setup like this, is to pull over and just make sure that these guys are still tight. What I found is driving down the road, I'm not sure if they loosen up, but every once in a while I found I need to do a few more turns on these turn buckles to make sure that these things are extremely tight. The other part of the six extension you'll need is you'll need an extension for your seven pin electrical connector. The hitch extension comes with a bracket but does not come with the extension. Pretty much you can buy these pretty much anywhere and it basically just plugs into my uh, factory seven pin connector on my truck and I just extend it out to here. The other thing I like about this particular hitch is we also have a truck camper. I'll do another video on why we have both a travel trailer and a truck camper but you can see I've got the hold downs for the truck camper. These basically bolt onto the hitch which is really nice. There's some aftermarket stuff out there where it's just a single tube coming out. I personally would not recommend, nor would I use one of those. Maybe if you're using a very, very small trailer and you're using a very small extension, they may be okay. But you start getting into the weights of a travel trailer, you really want something strong like this. There's a tremendous amount of force on this hitch when you're traveling down the road. 
you don't want to have a hitch failure or worst case, some sort of a separation. If you have any experience with hitch extensions, you know, feel free to leave me a comment below. If you have any questions, I'd certainly be happy to answer them. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Thanks for watching.